lesson 2 of this new playlist about Go. Let's see what you are going to learn. You're going to create a Go application. You're going to understand the code that you will write. And then you're going to run and build the application. Let's start. I'm going to open the terminal. And as you saw in the lesson one, I'm going to check if I already installed Go in my local machine. The command Go version. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a new file with the name hello.go. Then I'm going to edit the content of this hello.go to put a simple Go code. I'm going to write package main import the library fmt and then gonna write func main and inside this function I'm gonna print a simple message like hello go with the library fmt dot print ln hello go very simple let me save it. I have my hello.go. Now let's understand the content of this file. So first let's start with the line one, package main. This statement package main is how you tell to go that the application that you are implementing is a program that you can run. Let's move to the next line, import FMT. The import statement gives you access to your program to use other code in other different packages, that it's a standard library for the input and output. And we need to use this library because we want to print a message, hello go. Very simple to understand. This is important, pay attention. If you import a package, but you don't use any kind of function that this package provides to you, your application won't compile because Go will complain that you are importing a library without using it. Then in the final block, you can see the statement func and the name main. The func statement is a reserved word that used to declare a function. So I declare a function with the name main. And I give this name because it's the starting point of my program, the main entry point. This is important again. You can have only one main function across the package main. And then inside your function, you can do whatever you want. In this case, because I decide to import the FMT library, I need to use it. So I use the println function provided by this library in order to print hello go very simple to understand so i declare the package i import the library that i want to use i declare the entry point declaring the main function and inside the main function i just put a simple instruction in order to first use the fmt library because otherwise go will complain and then of course to print in the console hello go Let's see now how you can run the application. It's very simple. You need to use the command go run. And then you need to specify the application that you wrote. In this case, hello.go. Perfect. So I run my hello.go and I can see in the console, hello go. Exactly what I, I wanted when I wrote this statement here. The go run does two things. First, it's compiled the application and after the compilation, it executes the application. This is because just typing go run hello.go, I can see directly in the console the message hello go. In case I want to build the application, I can do it with the command go build and then I need to specify the application hello.go. In this case, Go will produce an executable that it depends on your system. I'm using macOS, so it will create an executable 
for macOS. If you are going to use Windows, it will create the .exe file, for example. Let's run the command. In this case, of course, I just built the application, so I'm not seeing any kind of message in the console. But if I take a look inside the folder, I can see my application a lot of go, but also the executable file that I built from the a lot.go thanks to the command go build a lot.go. When the go build command completes, it generates an executable application that I can run anytime without recompile my application again. The command only produces an executable. It doesn't run the program like I've done for go run a lot.go. So let's run it. It's just an executable in my system. So I'm going to run it and you can see here the message hello go. Let's do a quick recap on what you learned in the lesson two. First, you created a simple Go application. Then you saw all the important pieces inside the ASP Go application, like what is the package, what is the import, what is exactly the function main. Then you run the application. So in this case, you compile and run in the same time your application. And finally, you built your application as an executable file. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next lesson, lesson three. Bye.